that sound ah, outside. Oh, it's time! I've got it's an time. extra special package for <laughs> Gaff! <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> oh, this is already Geo amazing. Fef. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Jeff Keeley! Yes. Come on out! It is about time. Not this again. I'm in the middle of a live stream right now. <laughs> Guy always crashing my important shows. <laughs> I, the, the pun I'm level see what this is, is but fantastic. It better be worth it. <laughs> it looks so silly, it's awesome. <sighs> crash, I really don't want the dirt that you have on Cortex. <laughs> oh no. This is the Crash 4 trailer. For real? For reals. Well, yes. it's about time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, wow. You banished me to the past. But all it did wow. give me more time to plan your doom. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is amazing! This looks insane! Oh my god! It, it <laughs> It's like combining the best of every Crash game. Wow! So these new masks are gonna give us completely new powers. That's so cool! Wow! Look at this! <laughs> this game is going all out. <laughs> yes! You get to play as Cortex! What?! Do you get to play as- Yeah! You get to play as Coco! Oh my god, I love it! Yes! Aha! <laughs> so Engine's back. Oh man! Engine playing the drums as a boss is not something I thought I needed, but I... Was that a wall run? It is a wall run! What?! This looks amazing! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> this is wild! How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. <laughs> that is awesome! That's right. There's the oh my god! Crash oh, let's see it! It's October 2nd. That is amazing. I'm so excited. Right now, oh my god! And I'm so proud because I've got. Um, hey, Paul! Oh, I love Paul. I've met him. He's wonderful. Um, man, like, I, I've got two friends, so um, Mike and Nicole, who work at Toys of Old. They've worked on this. So it's of, it's uh, so cool to, and CTR, to, to see, a, you know. Brand yeah. new crash this is, game built from the ground up. This is what they've been working on. It's, right. it's so it's, cool. Uh, I'm it's so hard proud to believe, of them. But it's oh, been it's over amazing. Ten years since we've seen an original new entry into the series. Man, so this I'm looks gorgeous. To, uh, Wait, can you just switch between Crash and Coco on the fly? Was that what just happened? Crash Four. It's about time, and that's a. Or was that a mask? On the fact that on. we've been waiting for so long, but also it's a game. Oh no, no, it's switch to Coco. Time. Maybe it just. Yeah, no, it's I, just I a jump cut. Yeah, that's probably just jump cut. Is, is filled with oh, so wow. much information. I mean, you know. Yeah, there's loads going guys, on here. Coco, this is Crash, wild. I'm curious, like, <laughs> what, you know, you guys had worked on. I love it. You know, the, the so that can slow down crash, time. Okay. That's awesome. I'm sure, so much trepidation. Wow. What's going to be a worthy, you know, follow on calling it Crash 4? How wow. did you guys approach this? Like, what kind of game did you want to build? Yeah, I, I guess the first thing is we asked ourselves, where did we want to start? And though technically this is the eighth game in this series, um, all of the fan reception that I was coming that. out of the Insane Trilogy. I love Grand Railing. Um, awesome. We wanted to go back to the original trilogy and start from that. We're deliberately calling this Crash 4 because we want to key it off of the original trilogy that was developed by Naughty Dog. Thanks, so. There's certainly a high point in the series, both critically and commercially. And so that's where the events are gonna key off of. We're taking, we're starting right at the end of that when Dr. Neocortex, Entropy, and Uka Uka have been banished to this distant planet. That is and awesome. they finally found a way after That's so many, cool. Along many, many fruitless attempts, they found so yeah, a way are, to break out. Yeah, we are against um, Trophy and, and Cortex. In doing so, Makes sense. they've torn this gigantic hole in the universe and <laughs> exposed the fact that there's a multiple. I love you get to play as so it's Cortex. Gonna be That's the amazing. Crash and Coco to restore that order by reuniting That's the wild. So that, shit, so that one shifts gravity. 
the gameplay don't know style, what that I one does one of them slows of down time probably wondering it's incredible a crash in 2020 how much of it is you know the more linear um you know classic crash levels and of course now like people wonder like it's an open world crash game how are you doing it like tell us about balancing kind of the the old style of gameplay which is certainly not broken we love it versus the tendency to do you know New styles I can't of tell if it's the trailer, it looks slightly like faster kind of still faithful than to and same for the original style of Crash versus it making might it be. some big, you know, pretty open world. But is that <laughs> it looks correct? Amazing. How do you approach the actual it looks style? Absolutely incredible. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, I think what we've heard was it's just it's just that ridiculous. People found that style of gameplay to be really it's absolutely ridiculous. To I love it. Turn to and so we wanted love to key off of that and. When we observe some of the other games and platformers and how they've evolved over time, wow. you're totally right. They've gone to a place where they're a little bit more open in nature. And as a consequence, the challenges and things that you interact with are a little bit more sparse and spread out. It encourages exploration and maybe there's a little bit more focus on collection and combat. But when we think so about classic crash gameplay, it's dense and it's focused mm. and it's really the streams of hazards and the challenges, the platforming challenges, they come and they're, there's almost a rhythmic quality to it and how reliable it is. And I know that for me, when I learn a level and I understand the nuance of the timing and the placement of all the different hazards, you can enter into uh, a sort of flow state uh, when you understand that kind of musicality. Mm. Multiple playable characters. Uh, how are you doing that? Is it kind of like by level or how, like we saw Coco and Neo playable in there. How, how does that work sort of in the scheme of the, the gameplay? So Crash and Coco, Man, you're going to be able to choose. All of these levels look incredible. And they yeah. share the same it looks a bit like Rust Over Land the course of the adventure, from, uh, you're going to encounter huh. some new from, friends, uh, some familiar faces. Uh, and um, you're right. There, there's going to be some new playable characters. We're teasing today Dr. Neo Cortex. I wonder if that... completely <laughs> So has Rust Land this whole time been teasing? So where the that would be wild if it was. And they've got the ability to that would actually be wild. <laughs> Dr. Neo Cortex is, um, he's a little bit more of a cerebral character. Uh, he's a mad scientist, he's got inventions and he relies on his intellect. So he's got a ray gun that he carries around with him. And that ray gun has the ability to transmogrify hazards and enemies into cool. platforms. Cool. And he can choose between changing them into a static solid platform or a bouncy platform that gives him access to higher elevations. That's so, so his cool. gameplay and the levels that are built specifically for his move set is going to be a completely different flavor. It's going to be a little bit more strategic, a little bit more cerebral. Yeah. And I think players are going to have to be a little bit more thoughtful about um, when to encounter a hazard, whether or not to, trans to change it into a platform and what type of platform they're, they're going to need at that point in the obstacle. Wow, it, it it seems ambitious that you're adding more elements to it. And then also you mentioned the the masks. How how do those work? So the quantum masks, there's four of them in this game, and over the course of the adventure, they're sprinkled, they're scattered across the universe. You're gonna have to rescue them from certain the clutches of certain bosses, both familiar and new. Um, the quantum mask, two of them that we're talking about today is the time mask and the gravity mask. And masks in this franchise, they've got a lot of personality, they've got their own names and their own voices and their own powers. So the Time Mask, her name is Kapunawa. And when Crash um, uses Kapunawa, he's got the ability to slow down time to a crawl. So for obstacles that are beyond, just way too fast to interface with, at normal speeds, he's gonna be able to slow things down and then get past those obstacles. And in addition to that, he'll be able to get past nitro crates, which have traditionally been a one hit, oh. one kill type of thing. But with gonna... the power of time, he's going to be able to slow things <laughs> down, trigger that explosive, and then <laughs> That's get awesome. out just barely before that explosion. That's awesome! In its path. Man, I love that. The um, second uh, mask is the gravity mask, and his name is Ika Ika. So when Crash dawns on Ika Ika, he's going to be able to flip the direction of gravity and walk on the top of ceilings. Very, very cool. Um, walk upside down underneath platforms to get past. Very, very, very obstacles. cool. Uh, I'm really excited Lots to play this. Lots of potential here. There's again, so many different levels that they've shown off here. The original PlayStation first came out. Um, and you All looks incredible, a great though. job with the remasters, but to uh, have a totally new <laughs> game. Oh, look at that! 
<laughs> wow, that's uh, awesome. You're bringing it to life, so uh, man, getting everything is not this, gonna be and, easy and in this game. Doing it even from a work from home situation, uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's awesome to see, and can't wait to uh, get to play it later this year. Thanks for having me. It's a yeah, I can't wait either. I think it's an exciting time. Thank for you, games, everyone at Toys for Bobs. So this is gonna be an amazing uh, game. Crash, a new version, wow, um, and a new adventure um, at this time. Wow, October 2nd, right, cannot wait. Four.